Watchmen. 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 G. Edward Griffin's our guest, icon in the fight for liberty. So excited about him in my new Obama film. I'll soon announce the name. And he's going to be in Burma's uh, Visible Empire film. So we're going out to California interviewing. Well, my team is. I'm going out to California separately right before they go uh, for another interview. I'll just leave that unnamed. But uh, going back to G. Edward Griffin in the short segment, I mean, there's so many questions. Uh, your take on the banking implosion, Federal Reserve to get power over all industry, the green taxes, the carbon taxes, home inspections, federal zoning where it says they can just take your house, no judge, no jury. That's in there. I mean, it, it looks like on every front, federalization of water, gun control, they're moving on every front right now. It, is this a bum rush where we're getting hit with so much? I mean, why are they moving so quick right now? Well, I guess it's because they want to tie it up as quickly as possible, Alex. Uh, you know, they they don't want to allow the people too much time to uh, think about it and to uh, to develop opposition. And we get it all done. Right now, I, I think it's come to the end, of, almost to the end of the honeymoon in the Obama administration. And you know, in the first uh, few months, uh, they could do just about anything they wanted to. Uh, people would say, well, we don't know, give them a chance, let it work it out, and so forth. But they know that they didn't get too much done right away, that later on opposition might be uh, developed to it. So I think that's part of it. And the other thing is it's, it's got a lot more to do with this one administration versus, versus another administration. Now, these people who are, who are dreaming up this legislation and, and writing these laws, they're not uh, thinking as Republicans or Democrats. They're thinking as globalist uh, collectivists trying to create the new world order. That's their mission. They want to get that thing built. They want to get on with it, you know? Uh, that's their dream. And meanwhile, all the folks back here at home are still thinking in terms of these people, well, why would a good Republican do that? Or why would a good Democrat do that? You know, and they, they don't get it, that this has got nothing at all to do with partisan politics. So I think they're in a hurry so that the uh, too many of the American people don't wake up. and they get it all done. Continue along that line, J. Edward Griffin. Well, I don't know what more I could say about that, except that uh, you know we're, we're living in a in a time where events are moving very rapidly. I guess people have always said that throughout history, but also I think that it's true that, that because of technology, uh, things do move more rapidly uh, as the years go by, and um, and I think the time that they figure to wrap up the new world order is definitely within this generation. I don't, it used to be, I think, that they were thinking in terms of, well, two, three generations down the line, we'll get it all done. But now I think they've decided it's this generation, which means within this 20-year time span, probably less than that. Um, and so it's moving very rapidly. And, uh, you know, we were talking just a moment ago about what, what you... You know, can we turn this around? Are we going to win? Are we going to lose? What's going to happen? Everybody wants to, you know, think. What do I do? How do I prepare? What can I do for my family? All of these things, and uh, it, nothing wrong with that kind of thinking. It's realistic thinking. But the main question is: Are we going to win? Or are we going to lose? And my my feeling is very strong on that: is that we are definitely going to win this battle because freedom will always win out. But the question, the annoying question, is: How long will it take? Is it going to be in the, by the next election? No, it's definitely not going to be the next election. Yeah, how bad is it going to get? And, and one big problem with winning is people are in this instant gratification. Give me the Wendy's hamburger in 10 seconds or I'm angry. I catch myself even like this. It takes time to grow a orchard. It takes time to put in a garden. It takes time to build a new old order. It takes time to defeat it. And things are moving very quickly now. We're having great victories. People need to be more positive and realize things don't happen instantly. And I agree with you, we're going to win. The question is, how bad will it get? How many of us will be enslaved? And we talk about if they win, what is it like? It's like living under Joe Stalin with a high-tech overlay, isn't it, uh, G. Ever yeah, I think that's a good analogy. Yes, high-tech overlay. Uh, a lot more effective means of controlling uh, people, controlling their thoughts, controlling their health, their movement and uh, a, a lot more sophisticated weapons to put down opposition. Yeah, that's the high-tech overlay that makes it really scary. Um, 
But, uh, yes, the, back to the theme, which is how long is it going to take, that's been one of the main points of Freedom Force International, is that we have the long view of history, and a lot of people get very impatient with that. I can understand that. I used to be impatient with that point of view when I was a young guy. I remember we were talking a moment ago, when did I start down this path? Well, back in 1960. And I remember back in the 60s listening to some of the old timers say, well, this is going to take quite a while to turn around. And I kept saying, the heck it is. Wait till I get in there. You know, I'll turn this thing around right away. Well, <laughs> turns out that the old timers were right. And uh, it turns out, hold on, 60 years is a blink of an eye, though. You've done a lot to start turning the ship. You have influenced tens of millions, G. Everett Griffin. Stay there, my friend. Quick break. We'll come right back with G. Everett Griffin. Do you understand how dark it is? How far down the line we are? How late it is? You try to take us boss Before the head explodes all right, let's go ahead and go back to G. Edward Griffin. G. Edward, fire out the website for folks who want to check out all your great films and books and videos and materials and people who want to get involved in Freedom Force International. Well, how do they do that? I guess uh, it's time to plug a couple of websites. Uh, our commercial website, uh, as you know, uh, it's uh, called The Reality Zone. And it's easy to remember, realityzone.com. We've got about a 100 different items there, some of my books and video programs and audio recordings. Plus, we carry the good stuff from other people as well. But that's a commercial site, plenty of information. If, you, if you're a reader or you like to watch videos, there's enough there for, for almost a year of your time of, of, of study. But if you want to get involved in an organization that's trying to do something about it and trying to recapture control of our political system, uh, then you want to go to the Freedom Force site, and that's freedomforceinternational.org. And um, I can't tell you too much about it because it takes too much time to tell you about it, except that there's a plan there to do something about it, to not just complain, not just to read another book, but to actually acquire or reacquire, I should say, reacquire power over the political system of all of the countries. That's right. We with. have to infiltrate the system like they've done to us. I wouldn't say infiltrate. That's got a negative uh, uh, connotation to it. We should be there all the time anyway. That's no, no I agree. But, I mean, they covertly infiltrated. And I think in a war, it's good to be overt. But if people choose to be covert, and a lot, we can send a lot of secret documents. And, I mean, that is infiltration. That's well, the American people re-infiltrating their own government. Well, I would. I have to agree with the principal. We have to, we have to go back to where we should have been all along uh, when you've got self-government. Uh, you better uh, be involved in government, not just turn it over to somebody else, because then it's not self-government anymore. Well, I'll say this. The government that's out of control and illegitimate and owned by offshore banks publicly now in fraud, they act like we are criminal infiltrators if we try to go to a city council meeting or yeah. try to go hold a sign up on the street corner. Yeah. We all have to exercise that power or lose it. That's right. We have to be in the political halls of the nation. You know, the motto, or the, the sort of the unofficial motto of Freedom Force is don't fight City Hall when you can be City Hall. And that, you know, that sums it up. And I'm happy to say that our members all over the, the country are gradually uh, getting the, the, uh, the idea and they're successfully moving into political groups. And the system is worried. They're, they're putting out reports going, there's police, there's military, there's these anti federal Reserve people. They're everywhere. They might get us. Oh, no. <laughs> Well, they, yeah, they might become uh, mayors of uh, cities. They may become members of city councils. They may become elected to uh, state uh, positions. They may become chiefs of police. Who knows? They may actually recapture control of their own system. That's the whole idea. Oh, we don't want to do that. <laughs> and throw <laughs> well, out the evil better. mayors who are on offshore payrolls publicly. You know, one thing, not just getting back into government and the system, but also surveilling corrupt politicians legally. Yeah. I mean, most of these guys are really corrupt. You'll catch them with hookers, gambling, stealing, w weird stuff. If you just go out and surveil corrupt people, folks, you're, they're doing evil. Oh, yeah. You know, good people are just at home barbecuing, hanging out with the family. These globalists are all scum, and they're all degenerates. You don't do bad things in life unless you're overall bad. And, you know, I say play hardball with them, too. Well, yeah, it is partly the, the nature of the beast, of this thing we call government. We've allowed it to grow and grow and become more powerful. 
And uh, whenever you've got a, a center of power like that, it's a magnet for the criminal class or the predator class. Uh, people who want to take advantage of others just instinctively gravitate to uh, to something like that. So uh, part of our long-range uh, strategy for success and victory that we were talking about is to dismantle that, that magnet so that it, it won't attract that criminal class anymore. Yeah, if there's not a big government... There's no power mass or levers for a psycho or control freak to get control of. But we build these giant government systems. They're going to be taken over by crooks if they weren't built by them to begin with. That's right. So uh, people haven't thought that all the way through. They think that the, the solution to corruption in government is to make government stronger. More investigations, more laws, and so forth. And that's just the opposite of, of the solution. That that uh, structure should start to be dismantled. And uh, all of these uh, tools that they have for uh, controlling the lives of its citizens need to be just eliminated.